All right, we're gonna do a video on the uh, RC four-wheel drive Scottsdale, and uh, basically, it's a uh, ready to run RTR. Comes with Chevy uh, rally wheels with the beater ring, BF Goodrich um, mud terrains. They're super soft. They are pretty small, but it's the scale. The tailgate opens. It's got a nice little handle. The bumper is pretty solid. The front grille, uh, there's two options. Uh, I swapped mine out for the other one. Um, probably try to show that after. Um, front bumper is also solid. Um, it comes with fully wired lights. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. The mirrors are adjustable. They also swivel. If you hold this, they swivel up and down, fold in, metal rod. Um, Real thick, hard glass, uh, plastic I mean, but um, windshield and uh, door windows. The front hood opens. Kind of tight, you get the finger, you get your fingernail in there. Anyways, folds up, you got nice little hinges. Um, it shows the motor that's gonna possibly be going in here and a transmission in the near future but um yeah it's got a little magnet here and some hinges it's uh it's pretty cool then you got uh yeah we'll move on from that and what i'll do is just take the body off just gonna unplug the wires All right, so, oh yeah, also a pretty big feature. It's got a full interior. Probably not gonna be able to see too much, but it's got door panels and everything. All right, so move on to the chassis. Uh, it's full metal chassis, metal bracing, cross member, metal uh, shocks, all four corners. Comes with uh, some fender liners. I did have to trim the inside uh, just around the shock hoop to make them fit nice. Um, ESC is mounted here. Your receiver is inside the gas tank here. Little gas tank cover case thing. You see you got metal transfer case. Your transmission, that's also metal. Metal brace. And then you got everything else, spur gear, and uh, your motor. It's a 45 turn, I think it is. And I upgraded the servo right away to a Reeves 422 uh, HD. So I think it's 36, what is it, kg or whatever it is, of torque. Probably said that wrong, but whatever. Um, anyways, then it's got some rock sliders that are plastic. They do have an upgrade uh, metal option for that which I'll definitely be getting. Going on to the underside, I added a uh, little stabilizer uh, shock for the front by Superlift. It's got plastic drive shafts with metal ends. The K44 diffs, differentials, front and rear with the 10 bolt, which is pretty sweet. And then you got your leaf packs, which come with three per side, three per corner. And I took out the last bottom one on all four corners. And uh, I did replace the main shot or the main leaves with these red super soft ones, but they end up being way too soft. It just bottomed out right away. Um, then I also took the internal springs out 
of the shocks for those. And um, the way I've been breaking them in is with the body on, I'll sit there and I'll just do this for like five minutes. And I'll do that for the front and rear. I'll do that for probably like, yeah, five minutes here and there throughout the day, off and on when I get time. And, uh, or you could just drive it, which will probably take a lot longer. I just want mine ready to go. But anyways, I got it to do full flex with the body on. I'll show that after, if I remember. Um, it runs on 2S and 3S. I got it on LiPo. But uh, anyways, yeah, it's a, it's a really, really super detailed um, crawler or trail truck. And um, yeah, everything's to scale, so I'm gonna have to treat it like uh, treat it like that. I'm gonna assume this thing is not as tough as uh, like a TRX4, you know, or one of those. But anyways, uh, here's the first thing that I didn't know about these. When you first get them, um, every screw is going in the metal, except the odd plastic, you know, piece here and there. But almost everything on this chassis is metal. So everything was loose for screws. Uh, the drive shafts, uh, pins, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And um, all those were loose, like finger tight. And some were like practically hanging out, <laughs> by, like, holding on by a couple threads, it's crazy. Um, the shocks were super loose. The shock ends, they were loose, they kept coming undone. And yeah, so what I did is I just locked tight one screw at a time for on one side, worked my way all the way around until I finished there. And uh, also did the braces up here, locked tight at those. Locked, obviously locked tight at every pin. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, I'm not sure what else to talk about, but um, I'll just have to get a video of it. Um, doing some crawling when the weather warms up a bit. We're currently sitting uh, in the minus 30s, deep into the 30s. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I ain't going outside. But uh, anyways, yeah, so, yes, yeah, the Trail Finder 2, wheel, uh, long wheelbase. And it's the Chevy Scottsdale. And it's definitely one of my favorite trucks. So hopefully I can remember... Um, to put the um, a picture of the motor and tranny that I want to put in here and the company and um, it's gonna be super pricey it's Canadian dollars it's 185 bucks for the motor which is all billet aluminum um, and then also the transmission is a scale transmission and I'm pretty sure it's 200 plus dollars if not, I think it's 300 is what it's listed for. So then you have to do the uh, accessory kit, headers, and, you know, distributor, water pump, and a few other things on top of that. And those are all pretty expensive each. So it's going to be probably 500 bucks in, just looking at 500 bucks Canadian just for the motor and trans swap. <laughs> then, you, then you need a... Uh, motor mounts and uh, a couple other things just to make it work and yeah it's going to be near 600 plus dollars so it might be a little while before i do that because i can buy another crawler for that <laughs> so it's, it sounds insane but people are doing it and i saw it and i didn't know it was an option and i got super excited over it so um i researched it last night and yeah it's expensive but it is what it is. Some people spend all their money on junk. Some people spend the money on drugs. Some people spend their money on whatever you want. This is my, uh, this is my thing. So anyways, um, I guess that'll be it. Hopefully most of that was seen on video. All right, next video I'll, uh, either I'll have more upgrades done to this one but I also have two more crawlers I bought so I'm going to be do two more reviews on uh, the other ones 
And then the next video on this one, hopefully it'll be over driving. So, all right, next time. Before I forget, I had to add that when you first get this, it can't, um, to mount the body, you have the two screws per side that are here. And okay, you also have an option in the back for two posts with uh, pins, which I chose not to use. But um, if it's your first time trying to mount this body, it is a pain in the ass. It actually pissed me off to the point where I had to put it down for a sec and then come back to it in a minute. Um, try to line it up at first, not knowing that where the battery um, is positioned or supposed to be positioned. When you do put this together or put your battery in, position your battery back here more and leave your straps a little bit loose so it has a little bit of room. That's if you're running like a three, uh, three cell, um, a three cell battery that's a little bit thicker than the one that it comes with. Otherwise, yeah. But uh, yeah, once you figure out that battery position, also the, your cord that comes out, make sure it is ran. Um, oh, this is hard to explain. I should, I should have did this with the body off, but how would I show you? Okay, anyways, if you can see it right here, let me look at the camera. All right, so right here is your power cord, plugs it into your ESC, to your battery. You, you want to run it on the back, the back side here of the battery and not on the top side, like as in against the cab, because it won't fit. And I couldn't figure out why my, I couldn't figure out why the body wasn't mounting, and it, that's what, that's what was pissing me off for a while, so anyways. Figure that out and everything will work out. That's about it. All right. Figured I'd add that in.